Okay, so ammonia. Let's talk about ammonia with three hybrids. So the nitrogen and ammonia starts with its three uh, with its s and its three p orbitals. How do we hybridize this to get three orbitals? Well, we always include the s, and we're just going to box in around add the two p's. We're putting in three atomic orbitals. That's going to get us out three hybrid orbitals. Now they're sp2 because we use s and two p's to construct the hybrids. There is a leftover p orbital. Now this is going to be important. I'm going to uh, explicitly label that this is the px that got left over. That means we use, I'm sorry, the pz is left over. What we use for hybridization is are going to be the px and the py. It's going to have implications here in a bit. So this is going to be, we're going to draw an sp hybridized, sp2 hybridized ammonia. Uh, the bond angle for any sp2 hybridized atom bond angle equals 120 degrees approximately. Now the geometry depends on how the atoms are attached around the nitrogen. So let's draw this picture. So we're going to put our nitrogen in the middle and our nitrogen is, is going to be surrounded by three hybrid orbitals that are going to be equally spaced about this nitrogen. Equally spaced where? Well since we use the px and the, P, uh, the py to construct these hybrids, these hybrids are going to occupy the xy, not the xy place, the xy plane. And I'm going to try to sketch, here is this flat surface of our xy plane. And so these three hydrogen atoms are going to come off and they're going to be equally spread out within this xy plane. Equally spread out. What am I talking about? Well, they're equally spread out according to have a bond angle of 120 degrees. So this bond angle is going to be approximately 120 degrees. And of course, as we go around 120 degrees three times, we do a 360. And these three NH bonds occupy this xy plane. How about the lone pair? Well, the lone pair is left over. We didn't count the lone pair when we wanted to see how many hybrids we get. So this orbital holds the lone pair. And what's the orientation of our lone pair? Well, it sits in the PZ orbital. The PZ orbital is going to stick perpendicular through the XY plane. So P orbitals look like this. There's a top part and a bottom part. I'm going to put the two lone pairs in, in one of the lobes of this p orbital. And if, I want to emphasize, if ammonia had sp2 hybridization, then this is how it would appear. It would have bond angles of about 120 degrees, and they, the NH bonds would be within this plane. And the geometry For such a structure, it, it's a trigonal structure because there are three atoms coming off the central atom. So it's trigonal. And furthermore, the trigonal groups, the three groups, all occupy a plane. So it's trigonal planar. Now, we're going to see an alternative hybridization of ammonia that where it's sp3 hybrid, 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 hybridized, where we have four hybrids, not three hybrids. But if it's sp2 hybridized, this is what ammonia would look like.